Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, feeling much better today. So I'm thankful to God that I can get up and rise up this morning and come on and talk to you all this morning. And uh, once again, to say that uh, God is so good because uh, he rose me up off of my sick bed. I tell you, uh, wasn't feeling good at all. I don't know how many of you suffer with low blood sugars, but it's something, it's really something to deal with. But God still takes care of us, watches over us, and get us to the next level that we that we need to, level of strength where we need to be. Okay, so I just uh, thank everyone for the phone calls and everything, uh, the text checking in on me. Uh, and again, once again, I'm so grateful and uh, just want to let y'all know y'all help to keep me going and strengthen me and I am taking care of my health. But, you know, we all got something that we that we got to deal with in our on the medical side of us. But we can't let it take us down because if so, it'll 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 get you frustrated and you just feel like. Uh, there's sometimes no way around this thing. But, you know, when God feeds knowledge into you, you know what you have to do. You know, you have to take care of yourself. You know, you got to take whatever medications you got to take. And sometimes it's too many, but you still got to take them. But whatever we have to do, I encourage you to just take care of yourself as well. And do what you need to do to stay well. And sometimes you'll be up and sometimes you'll be down. But you'll be all right. But again, I just want to say thank you to all the phone calls and all the texts that I received um, when uh, not feeling so well. But again, God is still good. However, this morning I have some announcements I want to make. I am so excited about. Um... I have, there's a few of you know that I had been working on trying to set up a podcast. Well, yay, I got it set up. So what I want to do on this podcast is I've got to learn how to do um, split screens because I want to um, begin to invite some of you on to have conversations with, but it'll be in the evening time. Um, it'll be one day out the week. I believe I'm going to just cont continue to come on on Wednesdays. Um, and so during the time when we would come on with the women's circle, we're going to do it a little different. We're going to do it through the podcast, but once again, I'm, I have to learn how to do the split screen. So when I interview any of you all, I'll ask first, uh, to come on and to just talk and share a little bit with the world, uh, about what you're doing, your projects, and, and we're just going to move from there and let God bless it, okay? So yes, yay, I'm excited about it. I'm excited I got a podcast. I'm excited that I'm going to get a chance to interview some of you all that come on here and some that don't, but uh, I'm looking forward to doing great things. I'm asking God for direction, though. I really am. I'm asking God for direction on how to do this um, because I do want it to be a success. So not just myself, but many others can get their voices out there. And it might be something that you're doing in your life that you want other people uh, to know that you're doing. So once again, I'm excited about having a, a podcast. I'll put that announcement on my page. But guess what? Prayerfully, more sooner than later, I'm going to be able to start inviting some of you all on so that I can do interviews with you. How about that? Okay, so just just remember, I'm still working on some things, but I did get it up um, with some technical people's help because I don't know how to do all of that. So I have to I have to ask, pray God, show me how to do this. Show me who to go to. Send people in my life that can help me, and that He has done. So once again, I put that announcement on my page. Now. Moving forward on what I wanted to talk to you all about on today, uh, <laughs> I'm still laughing and smiling about the podcast, but what I wanted to talk to you all about today was how and what do we feel like in the times 
of troubles. How and what do we feel like in the times of trouble? And as I uh, was laying there on yesterday and I sent a message out to my family that I had, because I was excited, uh, that I had gotten the podcast um, set up. Uh, not at 100% because I haven't got a chance to set up how I'm going to interview others. But I was just excited. And, I, and, I, and my nephew, my nephew sent me a message back. And I was so excited about it, I posted it on my page. And he said, it said, more is not always bigger. It, it, it can mean deeper because God wants you to go deeper. See, that message wasn't just for me. That message is for you too. Because God will allow people in your life to let you down, to try to bring you down just so that he can bless you how he wants to. He can give you better. God wants to give you better. He wants to give me better. He wants us to have better. God knows our pain and what we've been through. And, and, and that's different. It comes in different forms in life. Sometimes pain can come through loss. And that's not somebody trying to hurt you. It's just that you have lost a loved one. You know, I, I, I told y'all on last week when I, I had to reflect back on my late husband because what I lost on December 9th. And you know, I don't care what nobody say. When you lose people, when you lose a loved one, and it don't just have to be your spouse. It can be siblings. It can be your parents. Loss is hard. It is. But you know what? I got out of what he sent to me yesterday. God doesn't want you to stay right there. He wants to raise you up, to rise you up. He didn't do that to let you down. He did that. To put some more good things into your life. To interject some more good things into your life. Those, those were good and loving people who were in our lives. But God said, I got so much more for you to do. Because you have something to do just like they had something to do. And you know what? I'm going to not only raise you up out of that to be bigger. I'm going to take you deeper. And when God takes us deeper, we got to appreciate that. This is why it's so important that we stay the course, that we stay for focused, that we know that God has so much more for us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. You know, even when, even when I was down, you know, and just struggling uh, for breath, uh, because my blood sugars had gotten so low. You know, God even speaks to you at your lowest point. God be speaking to you. Don't you give up on me. Don't you give up on me. I got so much more for you to do. He don't only say that and speak that into me. He do the same thing with you. He do the same thing because there are so many things that we're grappling with in life. And every now and then, he has to uh, allow that Holy Spirit to remind us, I'm still here with you. I'm taking you deeper. I'm taking you deeper than you ever thought you could go. I'm making you better on the other side of your situation. I'm growing you up. In your circumstances, have you ever grown up in your circumstances? You got some circumstances right now that have caused you to grow up. And you know what? When you were growing up in your circumstances, guess what? He was taking you deeper. God reminded me through that message on yesterday from my nephew. I just want to do so much for you. But I need you to let me, to allow me to do so much, do those things I want to for you and with you in your life. It don't matter about the crowd. What matters is that you are listening to me. You allowing me to direct your path. See, that's the thing about it. We have to allow God to direct our path. We got to do that. Can't nobody do that for us. God will put people around you that specifically there to encourage you and give you that boost to keep moving when you just want to take a seat. He said, no, I'm taking you deeper. 
I'm taking you somewhere you never been before. I'm taking you to some places that you doubted. I'm healing your heart from some hurt and some pain. I'm doing that because I am your God. I am your creator. I know you. I see you. I created you. And you are special to me. So when people begin to doubt you or you begin to doubt yourself, no one thing. God has not forgotten about you. God is healing you. God is blessing you. God is sending some people in your life and he's taking some people out. Don't be afraid for people to be removed from your life. Because some of them, let's be honest, y'all, they need to go. It's time to go. They don't have nothing for you and you are tired of emptying everything out in an empty vessel that doesn't want to receive what you have. And that's from all walks of life. See, sometimes it's easier for people to get comfortable where they are because some people just want to be right there. And when you, when God gives you that insight, when he gives you that insight that you have done all that you can do, you can't do no more. And God turns around and removes that. Not because he want to hurt you, but because he's trying to get you to battle. He want to bless you. He want to show you some more things. God I got some more things for you to do. I got some more stuff I want to give you. I got some, I got some more assignments for you. I want to make you bigger than what, what you think you are. I want to make you better, but I can't do that until I take you deeper. He got to take you deeper. He want to take you deeper. It's so much on the inside of you that he wants to bring on the outside of you. Look at things that your life have already, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, how your life have already <coughs> blessed others. Your life alone have blessed others. Your life alone has caused somebody else to smile. Your life alone has caused somebody that wanted to, to, to give up, to stretch their hands out and say, yes, I want different. Yes, I want better. And thank you for helping me along the way. Thank you for leaning, letting me lean on your shoulder. Sometimes, sometimes you need somebody's shoulder just to, I don't want nothing else from you. I just want to lean on your shoulder for a minute. I don't want your money. I just want, I'm just thankful for your time. I'm just thankful for your shoulder. There was a time in my life over a year ago that something happened to me and the people that turned on me hurt me so bad. I, I, I remember going out to the gravesite. I remember standing there. I remember going out there and I could hear as I sang, I could hear my husband's voice because I was, I was kneeling down and I was talking to him I, and I was telling him, I can't believe that this happening to me. I can't believe that they did this to me. I can't believe that they didn't trust me. I can't believe and I kept saying stuff like that. But then he let me hear his voice. You raise up. It's to, you in a war. And when you in a war, you got to rise up. You got to rise to the occasion. It don't matter what they doing. What matters is what God is doing. What matters is getting your back off the wall and keep doing what you have been told to do by God. It don't matter what they doing. God got some people for you. He got some people to check on you. And here comes Reverend Ross all the way, all the way from where he lived. My nephew from my husband's side, from Longview to help me, to pull me together. And God let me know that it matters. 
because I'm going to send somebody to help you get through this, to assure you that, you know what? You're on the right road. You do what God tell you to do. And I'm, and I'm not here to talk about the circumstances. What I'm here to share is that God will take people out and then he turn around and put people in. He already assigned some people. He already anointed some people in your life this morning to come into your life this morning to fulfill his purpose in your life. I'm talking about your overall life. I'm talking about words of encouragement. I'm talking about words of inspiration inspiration. I'm talking about words that will help you and remind you the rest of your life that no, I was not alone. God was just repositioning me. And right now I can say God at that time was repositioning me through my tears. God was repositioning me. And that's a good thing. When God repositions you, because he said to, to, to reposition you, to take you deeper, that means you're going to have to endure some pain. You're going to have to endure some discomfort. You're going to have to endure some letdowns. You're going to have to endure some people turning their back on you. You're going to have to endure some things of people not believing in you. You're going to have to endure some things with people not trusting you. But the main thing, if you can just endure that and know this, that I'm with you. I never left you. I never forsaken you. And you know what? I'm asking you the question this morning that he asked me. Why are you trying to keep people in your life that I'm trying to move out? That's the question you got to ask yourself. Why are you continuing to try to keep people in your life that I'm trying to move out? Understand me this morning. Understand me this morning. When God is speaking to you, don't let people deny you that that's what happened. Because just like you have conversations with other people, sometimes God want to have a conversation with you. Sometimes people, God, God want to send somebody all the way from Longview, Texas to come down and check on you. All the way from California, all the way from Mississippi, Louisiana, Chicago, New Mexico. He sent people just because he got a message in their mouth for you. You mad about that? You don't understand that. Because you know why? You didn't go get them. God sent them. Oh, yes. When he sent somebody, you know, it's like that the fish that had the corn in his mouth. All right. See, they got a coin in their mouth. In other words, they got a message for you in their mouth. Don't be afraid to receive the message. Don't be afraid to say, I need your shoulder to lean on right now. Because I've been let down in a mighty way. I need your shoulder to lean on right now. And then you know what? You know what? They love you so much, they just let you lean on them. They're not trying to weaken you, but they're helping you to stand when you don't have the strength to stand. They're helping you to continue to believe in yourself when you don't want to believe in yourself. When you thought that it was the end and God said, uh-uh, this is only the beginning. It's some things in your life that I'm going to manifest because I've invested in you. God has invested in us. God has invested in me. God has invested in you. And you know what? It's time for those investments to grow. It's time for that. See, my daughter, she had to go through something, some hurt to get where today she'll be rejoicing because guess what? She's going to be opening up her new building, walking into her new building. See, God had to allow some stuff. He had to allow her feelings to be hurt. So he could take her deeper. So he could show her what he really had for her. 
but he, but, but he had to allow what happened to get her there. Was she gonna, she going in today? And I'm, I'm gonna be right there with her. Not just because a mom, a mom, but because I love and I see her growth. And I love her. And I love seeing her grow. And I love seeing her smile. And I love seeing her dreams coming to manifest. And I got so many other young women, my nieces. I got my nephews. I'm watching them grow. I got my spiritual daughter. I got my spiritual niece. I got, they, they growing. They growing. They doing stuff. And guess what? They inspiring me. They inspiring me to do some stuff. To go deeper. And God too wants you to go deeper. You know why? Because you're worth it. You are worth it. So you, you, I'm not going to keep y'all long this morning. I just had that short message of inspiration that I wanted to share with you on this morning. I know we're in holiday season. So guess what? People getting up, they, they, they moving, they doing some things, they getting ready to travel and go places and, you know, things you do around holiday season. But I wanted to come on and I wanted to inspire you prayerfully that you will know that whatever it is that you're going through in life, Count it all joy. Because guess what? God, not me. God, not yourself. God is taking you deeper. Yes, he is. He's taking you deeper. And you're going to be better. And you're going to be greater. Because those things that God invested in you, they're coming out. You ain't waiting to 2021. They already, they gurgling up and they coming through you. And you are going to flourish in this season. This season that you're in right now, you're going to flourish. You just got to stay focused. You just got to know that you are not alone. And you got to know that you have a shoulder to lean on. Even when the world is against you, he's still right there with you. He's still right there with you. Because you mean so much to him. All right? So, that's what I was full of this morning. <laughs> and I am, again, so happy. I'm so happy that God emptied me out this morning. I'm so happy that God and excited that God sent that message to me through my nephew. That more is not always bigger. But it just means he want to take you deeper. So whatever you are doing right now, whatever, I don't know what everybody's doing in their life. But whatever you are doing in your life, God is saying to you, it's time to go deeper. All right? I love you. You have a wonderful day. And guess what? Know that you are worthy. And we're just going to keep building from where we are. All right? Love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>